Well, good morning. My name is Royal Ferris. I am on my back porch in Hearst, Texas at sunrise. Pretty morning. And uh, I am here to do my morning devotional. And I hope you're here to join me. This devotional is for Monday, October the 24th. Monday, October the 24th. doing James right now in James 1 we did that all that last week and I could tell from the feedback that I got that it was much needed for all of us James is the wisdom book James is the half brother of Jesus and um, James is just powerful James is so practical as far as uh, the New Testament goes you know as Proverbs is for the Old Testament New Testament is kind of that's the way James is so we just talked about being tempted and on Friday and uh, today in uh, verse 13 through 15 James 1 13 through 15 do uh, you ever think maybe God is tempting you you ever think that maybe uh, and I know when you sit back and think about it it just doesn't even make sense if God is love and all that now you gotta realize God does test us and I guess you could call that a temptation because we're uh, when we're tested, we're we're testing our faith to do things that are right and to go forward with things that we know we're supposed to do. When we're tempted, it's more of being pulled the other way. You know what? Uh, to tempted to do wrong things. That's more, I guess, what we're talking about right here. Anyway, I'm going to start off with uh, the Lord's Prayer as I do every week, every day. And uh, just to get our hearts right, our Father in heaven, may we keep your name holy above all other names. May we focus on your spirit and you being our boss today. Uh, would you give us what we need to spiritually, emotionally, and physically be who you want us to be? Forgive us of our sins, Lord. And would you point out the sins that we need to be forgiven for that we're not even thinking about? And uh, may we forgive those who hurt us instantly so we can be better and not bitter. And Lord, would you protect me from temptations to do wrong and uh, the negative, negative influences that are around me all day long. And Lord, we will give you glory for everything that happens today, good and bad, knowing that you want what's best for us. We thank you for that. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's look at James 1, 13 through 15. Uh, and, you know, you know, he's talking about being tempted. And now he says, okay, and remember, when you are being tempted, do not say God is tempting me. Do not say, you know, I can't think that I've done that. <laughs> but I've been doing uh, chasing after God for a while. But, but I know, I just know from conversations I've had with from people that, well, I, I had a lady walk into my office one time told me she was having an affair because God sent this man to her because her husband didn't love her. That's a very extreme example of doing something, thinking that God sent the bad thing for you to do. So does that make sense? And there's a lot. You can sit down probably and think about that in your life. God is never tempted to do wrong himself, and he never tempts anyone else to do wrong. Uh, verse 14 Temptation comes from our own desires. Temptation comes from our own desires. My biggest problem is food, you know. Uh, we had a, a thing going on at our house last week, and and I promised I wasn't going to graze the desserts, and I did. Every time I walked by, I grazed, and I went, ugh, do <laughs> you know. So temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away drag us away from God it's talking about. These desires give birth to sinful action, temptation, the desires give birth to doing things we're not supposed to do. And then when sin is allowed to grow, when we continue to go with that, it gives death, it gives birth to death. This is spiritual death. It pulls us away from God. So when we're tempted by things and we continue to, I guess that's one of the reasons why the devil would tell you, try to convince you that this is from God because he wants spiritual death for us. 
He wants us to be separated from God. So, so you can fix that if you're in the middle of that. You stop, you ask God to forgive you, and you repent, and you go back toward Him and get away from the thing that you're being tempted with. Here's the prayer for today. I hope this encourages you. Or convicts you. Dear Heavenly Father, I know none of my bad ideas to do wrong come from you. You are perfect and righteous, and through Jesus, I have the ability to resist temptation. I will take responsibility for all of my actions. Thanks for your grace when I mess up. That's a good... I will take responsibility for all of my actions. Thanks for your grace when I mess up. So when you do mess up, God's grace. Repent and turn back. Uh, I promise a peace that comes from that. There's a lot of anxiety from being away from God. So thank you so much for listening today. I hope this encourages you. Please pass it on to others because others need encouraging. We will continue in James tomorrow morning if the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.